Hey guys, Dennis here from DC Supershine. I've been getting a lot of questions on what uh, tools that I use uh, to do aluminum polishing and uh, how to put the, the safety flanges on, how to uh, set up uh, the pad and all that. So I'm going to go through that with you guys. First of all, the sander that I use to do the sanding process, uh, it's a DeWalt DW421. Uh, this is an older model, but uh, any uh, type of orbital sander will do the job. The grinder that I use is also a DeWalt. It's a D28499. Uh, it's a 5.6 uh, horsepower. It's a stronger, uh, one of the stronger engines that they have. I just use those because it has better torque. Uh, 15 amps and uh, 6,000 RPM. Uh, that's the number right there. <clears throat> I'll have all this information in uh, in the description also. So to go through the, the flanges, how to set up the flanges. Um, this here is uh, the box that the flanges come in from Zephyr. And uh, you'll get two parts. One to, uh, top and a bottom. It comes with a nut and a safety washer. Now whenever you buy these grinders brand new, sometimes they'll come with these parts here with an extra spacer which you can use to, uh, you know, if you want the pad to be a little bit uh, further away from the machine. But with these flanges, you don't really need that. And, uh, and then it comes with another type of a bolt that you can screw it on. But uh, the one that comes with the kit is, is the better one to use. So you put in your, 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 first, your first flange. Now when you're putting your pad down, you want to make sure that the flap here is going into the direction of the pad that's going to be it's the, the way that it's going to be turning because if you put it the other way it'll catch in the wind and then this will cause some vibration so you want to make sure that that's going in the same direction that the, the pad will be turning and then you put your second flange on you'll need a 15 16th socket tighten it up and you're ready to do some polishing. Now another thing that I wanted to go through too is uh, you want to keep your tools clean. So I leave my little doors here open. I, like I, I use these, you know, 12, 14 hours a day. They get really hot. I burn them out. They, you know, like they last maybe a month or two for me. So uh, you want to make sure that you want to keep that cleaned out. They get pretty dirty in here. You, you use an air tool and uh, you blow the, you blow the, all, all the excess dirt out. Now, also a lot of people comment on, you know, if I use safety gear, a mask is a must. I use safety gloves and earmuffs. Okay, so you want to make sure that whenever you do, you're using all this kind of stuff, uh, that uh, that you're staying safe. If you have any questions, just comment below, and uh, and then I'll answer whatever you guys need. Thanks for listening. Talk to you later.